In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you why creating different custom GPTs for your business can be an absolute game changer and how this one little feature that not many people use within GPT makes you so incredibly efficient and really maximize the way that you use your custom GPTs for your company. I'm gonna show you this feature and then I'm gonna show you how to build your custom GPT so you can use this. That one feature that not many people use is the at feature. So if I press at, like the same way you can tag anybody on most social media platforms, it brings up your your previous GPTs that you've used and any GPTs that you've built yourself. And you can have a conversation with them, which is great. But what many people don't know is you can bring multiple GPTs into the same conversation. So for example, you could bring multiple expert GPTs about your company into the one conversation. This is an incredible tool when used correctly. For your team, it can be an absolute game changer. I'm gonna show you an example on how this can be so beneficial for you. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an AI powered SEO agency. We also run an online community where we teach people how to rank their websites number one with the help of artificial intelligence and how to leverage all of these artificial intelligence tools for automations and for your business in general. You can check that out with one of the descriptions below. We're going to create, for example, a digital marketing strategy for the launch of our online community. We've already launched it, but this is just an example. Now, I need to describe the online community and the strategy that I want to my already pre-built custom GPT, which is a social media strategist. I've already done that ahead of the video because I don't want to sit here and write all the time. And I actually didn't write that. I cheated. I use Otter AI to talk to Otter AI and it transcribes everything for me. I think that's just a much better strategy for these things. Anyway, I'm going to hit enter and my pre-trained social media strategist knows who it works for, knows the tone that I want and knows what it should be doing. So it's already starting to identify the target audience. It's coming up with promotional tactics with content marketing, collaboration and even engagement and retention strategies and stuff like that. Obviously, so that you have an idea of what the back end of this custom GPT looks like. If we edit the GPT, it just has a custom set of instructions created here that give it a persona or a social media strategist expert. And it also has a knowledge, custom knowledge base. That's all the information about our agency, what we do, so that it has a better understanding of who it's working for. And we just, I find that that works so well. And I'm gonna show you how to build this stuff. Don't worry. I just wanna show you why this is so incredibly useful when you use it with other GPTs. Great. So we can see here that it's done a bit of a social media strategy and thought of a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have as a digital marketing expert anyway. Now I want to show you something really cool. I've got a pre-trained GPT with my custom knowledge base of all the people that work in my company. A lot of these people are fake just for the purpose of this example. And that GPT is called the project manager for Savity, but I'm going to call him into this conversation by pressing at. His name is Savity project manager. And you can see that he's come up there, Savity project manager. Now, if I ask him to help me organize who's in charge of what action, he knows that he should look into his custom knowledge base and he knows the responsibility of people, the role, what they call, even their emails. And you can see here that Nico Rono, that's me, I'm the CEO, these are my responsibilities. So it'll start understanding which person should do what, which just is, I think, extremely cool. Perfect. So content creation and distribution, YouTube channel and social media. Well, Amanda Wright will oversee the creation of the teaser videos and tutorials, whilst Belinda Harris will assure a timely production and coordination with video editors, yada, yada, webinar and live sessions. Nicholas Corona and Belinda Harris will coordinate high level <laughs> webinars. I mean, you don't have to use what it tells you, but it just helps you to start for example, organizing your whole team. I'm gonna show you the back end of the project manager and what that looks like and why it knows who is, who's responsible for what. If I go to edit GPT and that document is a very, very simple text documentation that says, for example, the name, the role, the email, and the responsibilities of that person. Just as an example. And you can start doing, for example, training GPTs on your website information, on your HR policy, on everything like that. And I'm gonna show you how to build that now, now that I've gone through all that. So. First Firstly, you need a plus account, a paid subscription to create a custom GPT, but not to access one. So within your company, it's just you, for example, that needs this stuff. If you've used GPTs before, you should see your custom GPTs on the left-hand side here, and there'll be an explore GPT sections. If you've got the paid account and you don't see the custom GPTs on the left side, you either need to restart your browser or reset your browser, or click on one of the custom GPTs that I'm gonna leave for you below, and that tends to trigger your account into realizing that you've got access to these to explore the GPT. Once you click on explore GPTs, you're going to go to create and that's where we're going to start creating our GPT. But before we even start doing that, we want to set up our whole account 
on OpenAI to make sure that OpenAI don't use any documentation that we provided as training data because you might have some sensitive information there. So when you go to your settings here, you want to go to data controls. And when it says improve the model for everyone, which is a very sneaky wording they've chosen here, improve the model for everyone, you want to disable that. Mine's disabled at the moment because if you read the fine print, it says allow your content to be used to train our models. You don't want that, particularly if you're working in a company, they probably have some sensitive information. So then you can be sure that any documentation or any prompts that you use it, that might have some sensitive information about your company, doesn't get used. At least we hope so. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go back to explore GPTs. I'm going to go to create. Let's create a different one, an email creator for my company. The instructions is essentially the prompts for the custom GPTs. The more tailored the instructions or the prompts to your company, the better this will be. So put some effort in here. I've done some videos before in my account on how to create a very, very high quality custom prompt for you. You can go and check that out. But if you still don't know, even know where to start, I'm going to give you a good place to look for prompts, particularly if you're in marketing, they're really, really good. And that's the place is called AI for work. You can make an account, it's free. I'm going to go to marketing and it's going to give you really high quality prompts that take on the persona of a certain person. I'm going to go to email marketing specialist, for example, and I'm going to go to consult an email marketing expert. And you see here that they've got a prompt here that just fundamentally makes the custom GPT do a precise action a lot better in this instance to create an email. I'm going to copy this prompt and I'm just going to copy it here. With your custom GPT, you want to go through this here and see if you can change it a little bit, change a bit of the instructions to tell it to make sure that you read the custom knowledge base before you enter. And the custom knowledge base can be things like your tone of voice, your company information, your contact information, the way that the email should be structured, hundreds of things to make this custom GPT do the action item a lot better than it can, than it should for you. And that's the whole magic about this. The conversation starters, that's in case no one else knows how to use this thing. But for example, give me the content to write an email. Make sure with the capabilities that you've got the web browsing, the DALI image generation, and the code interpreter. The code interpreter allows it not only to read code, but also to create code. And sometimes even for emails, when you need the output, it's for example, slight HTML, it's good just to have that enabled. The actions will leave for another video because that's for connecting actions. For example, send this email for me in my Gmail account. You can actually connect it there. It's a tad bit clunky these days still, but it's still a kind of cool feature, but we'll leave that out for now. I just wanna show you how to build a basic GPT. I'm gonna upload some basic information about Savity, the company. As you can see here, it's just a text file here and click open. If you wanna build it a profile photo that a lot of people like to, go back to create and you can just prompt it to create a profile for this. It's going to start generating a profile picture. And there you go. I'll leave it at that. So I've named my GPT. I've added the instructions and I've uploaded the custom knowledge base. It's great. I've just deleted the profile picture because I didn't like it. I, I prefer it simple like that. Once you're happy with the output, you need to go to create and then it'll give you the opportunity here to either only use for you, meaning your account's the only person that's going to be able to see that GPT. The other one is only anyone with the link. So here is where it gets interesting. If you want to share this GPT among your company members or your co-workers or a friend, that's the choice you select. If you want your GPT in the GPT store, you press this one here and it's going to be searchable. For this instance, we're not going to do that because I've got some quote unquote sensitive information. I'm just going to go anyone with a link. That way I can share it with my team members, my co-workers and save it. When you get that message getting GPT published, you know you've done right. And here's the sharing link as well. If you ever need the share link once again, when you're using this GPT that you should find now here, which I've got it here, the email generator. If I copy this guy, you need to share it. That's the copy link for you to share this GPT with someone else. So I'm going to go back to my previous conversation that I was having about to my social media strategist, and he was already started to create the collateral, but I want now my email GPT to create the email for me because he's the expert. I'm going to go Savity and then go email. And there it is. And I'm going to go create the emails for this campaign. And because it understands the background of what we're talking about, because I've called it into that conversation, I didn't have to explain anything else and it's already writing it for me. This is something that would usually take days, if not weeks, depending on the size of your marketing team. Now I'm creating it in little less than an hour. The trick here is to really take your time into creating the right prompt and the right custom knowledge base for your GPT. I recommend you start off with a tone of voice 
ChatGPT, meaning you scrape all the website and you analyze your tone of voice. I've done a video on how you can create that. I'll leave that in the resources below. But this strategy is extremely simple to execute, but extremely profitable when it comes to your time. It'll give you so much time back and it'll make things a lot easier in your company. This is the only way really that I'm using GPTs now, my custom GPTs. And I would recommend for you to start playing around with creating GPTs that are expert in one little thing within your company, whether it's HR, one that understands all your policies, one that understands your tone of voice, one that understands roles and the responsibilities of everyone. So if you have a new team member come on board, you can tell it, hey, here's the GPT trained on everything. If you have a question about something, look it up here on who you need to ask that question to and it'll tell you right away. Really simple things that you can start building like that. I really enjoy these things and I'm surprised and I want more people to learn how to use this because it can be very beneficial. Again, if you want to learn all about AI automations, how to use these tools like this and uh, how to rank your website number one with the power of artificial intelligence, you should check out our online community. If not, keep watching these YouTube tutorials. Let me know what you want to see next in the tutorials. If you want me to create the action perspective when we are starting to create our GPTs, for example, we can even get it to post the social media strategist by adding an action with Zapier to post onto the social media platforms from GPT. It is a little bit clunky, but it's kind of cool. Anyway, leave it in the comments below. I would appreciate a like or a subscribe if you really like this video. 